Hey guys, how you doing? This is Margaret Setra and I'm here to bring the review for Shama King episode number seven. And uh, I'm just going to talk about what I liked and what I don't like, what I didn't like. Um, and let's just get right into it, really. When it comes to the stuff that I like, yes, I realise that the animation is better than the original. I'm always going to be comparing it to the original. It's just that's just human nature to compare something to the original. So yeah, I noticed that the animation is better than the original rightly so it should be you know years have years have passed since the original things have gotten better animation wise so it's only rightly so that the animation should be better but let's talk about things that can be good or bad without uh um can be good or bad because they know that it doesn't center around the animation really so i'm gonna talk about the good first and now the first thing i want to mention is the whole we've got faust's backstory within this episode and like i've said previously like i said previously for me the maru and i think i said it for tokigero as well i feel like we learn more in this one episode than we do in the entirety of the whole of the original running and again like i've said previously that could be a dubbing thing uh but i still feel that way i, I grew up on the shaman king original dub so i feel that way i feel like we learned more about thoughts within this whole episode than we did in the entirety of the series so that's a win we also get some character development from yo that's a win as well uh there's two moments i'm thinking about here is his whole um what he learned and his thought process after the fight and we get more into his backstory during the fight as well that stuff that we learn about his backstory during the fight um that did not happen <laughs> in the original running i did i did not know that stuff or if we did know it it wasn't told to us in that depth and so for those reasons i really liked it uh when it came to the stuff after the fight as well i was like yeah 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 that was a really good touch yo is growing because within the original running again this could be a dubbing thing but you don't really feel like yo grows mentally during the series but i feel like in this episode he's taken a step forward me mentally anyway um so that's really the things that i liked and then now we can get into the things that i didn't like and now in the original running for me anyway this fight was supposed to come across as a as a no hope fight for yo he had no hopes of winning this fight and i just did not feel that within this episode um in the original i'm pretty sure death wasn't mentioned you know because this was marketed as a kid show but it, i felt that i felt like they would have said something on the lines of you know he has no hopes of winning and i felt that because i felt that because yo went into this fight angry and this explained because he's angry he's pouring too much for ryoku into his attacks and it's because of this and he's not focusing and he's not concentrating properly he's gonna lose this fight that's how i felt in the original running and i was like yeah i can see these things and now within the 2021 version death is mentioned he's like in the last episode it was mentioned like it's a hundred percent likely that yo's not gonna come out of this fight alive and at no point within this episode did i feel that way especially at the end when you when you when you can see um silver even Anne is ready to hop in there to save his life at the end but still i never felt that at any point within the episode also another thing that ticked me off is that this episode in the 2021 version they give you the hope that yo may still turn this around and win this fight if anything it may even seem like that he calmed down realized his mistake and was trying to rectify it whereas in the original version i don't remember that at all 
I could be wrong about that, but I don't remember it at all. And if I am right, I feel like it's a better way to do the fight. Just leave Yo angry because he was trying to save his friend at this moment. And with the character, um, like with the now new reasoning that we know why Yo was trying to do it, you know, the whole thing with his, his first friend, that would have made it even better, an even better reason for him to just stay angry throughout the whole thing because this is his first friend. This is the first time he's been in this predic, um, first time he's been in this predicament. So it's more likely that you would stay angry and not come to your senses during the fight but we, we don't get that he comes to his senses he even tries to play that on try to twist twist that around and play that on fouts what he does manage to do it he, he twists it and plays it on fouts and like i said i don't remember this in the fight and it gives you the hope that yo could win i know at the end of the day he does lose but it gives you that hope and i feel like that that shouldn't have been there at the moment at the time it makes you feel like that Yo only lost because he was mistaken to got to get angry and came to his senses too late. Whereas I feel like at this moment you should feel like Yo lost because Fouts had the better strategy, he was the better strategist, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. So for me, so far the 2021 series has really felt like felt, felt like an abridged and or a Kai, like a Dragon Ball Z Kai. Granted, I've never watched Dragon Ball Z Kai. I'm just assuming that you know it's more com compressed like this. So I would really like to know what people who have only watched the 2021 version thought about this series so far and if you are someone like me who's watched the original version double sub how do you now feel about this 2021 version so far i'd really like to know your thoughts so if you are out there watching this please let me know in the comment section but i do believe that this episode <sighs> see i want to give it a four because we learn about faults and yoga's development within this development within this episode and i feel like if i didn't know about the original original dub that's what i'll give it but because i'm casting on contrasting and comparing <laughs> okay so if i was a 2021 only fan probably would have given this a four star rating the fight was meh i feel like they could have done more with the fight because i feel like they could have done more with the fight but because i'm casting ca contrasting and comparing it's a three star rating, yeah? So there we go. We've got two ratings for it. <laughs> like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.